alam nyo ba na kapag summer season or tuwing mainit ang panahon, mas magandang gumawa ng mga tinapay. Dahil ang dough or bread dough, mas mabilis umalsa at mas mabilis haluin kapag medyo warm season. So today, let's prepare another favorite Filipino bread recipe. This is monai or kung gusto mo namang ingles, we can also call it butter buns, Filipino butter buns. At syempre, eh naku naman chef, bakit isa lang po ang ituturo mo? Sayang nga naman ang pagod nyo sa pagmamasa. Let's make another variation. Ang isa sa mga most requested recipes, Korean garlic cheese buns. So simulan natin by preparing the dough. You have two options. You can mix it manually, pwede ka mag-exercise. At syempre, pag naawa ang iyong asawa sa'yo, magpabili ka ng mixer, pwede mong haluin gamit ang mixer. Let's do both today para maganda yung nakikita nyo pareho. So first, this is a tinatawag nating straight dough method. Ibig sabihin, Lahat ng ingredients ay ibabato mo lang papunta sa mixing bowl. So we start with the yeast. I'm using 1 tablespoon of instant dry yeast. So I like using this brand's Eagle dahil uh, mabilis mong makikita yan sa mga grocery stores, baking supply stores, and affordable too. So you put the yeast the water, lahat po ng ingredients na ginagamit natin ay at room temperature. Wala pong malamig, walang mainit. No? Room temperature lang po lahat. The white sugar, one piece of egg, butter, ay eh, nako chef, ang monay po ay tinitinda sa kanto. Bakit po butter? Ang social naman po ng inyong ginagamit, no? You can also use margarine or you can use lard. Pwede ka din gumamit ng compound butter. Nasa sa'yo yan, depende yan sa iyong costing. But if it's for everyday use, ibebenta mo sa iyong subdivision or sa bakery mo, sa home-based bakery, you can use margarine or you can also use lard, vegetable oil shortening. And then you put all-purpose flour. This is 600 grams. Ang recipe po ay nakapaskil po ulit yan. Powdered milk. And this is baking powder. Kung nagtataka kayo, bakit may baking powder? Ang alam ko sa cake lang naglalagay ng baking powder. For this particular bread recipe, I'm putting baking powder. Tutulong siya sa pag-alsa. Although, sa tinapay talaga, yeast ang nagpapaalsa. The baking powder will only assist, give it a more uniformed na alsa and finer crumbs. You will see the difference later. And then, this is salt. So, nilagay mo lang lahat ng ingredients dyan. And of course, I'm going to use my hands. Hahaluin mo yan hanggang maging smooth dough. No? So, napaka-importante yan. Babasagin mo yung butter mo. Room temperature yan. Napaka-importante that you have something like this. This is the round scraper. Makakatulong mo yan to keep your bowl smooth. The sides of the bowl smooth. Okay? So, you just mix it like that. You can also use your two hands. Sa simula talaga yan, medyo challenging. Lahat naman ng bagay, sa simula ay medyo challenging. Pero habang tumatagal, pag gamay mo na yan, makikita mo, the dough will become soft and manageable. Mas mabilis mo na siyang uh, mahahalo. Kasi syempre ngayon, yung asukal mo, yung butter mo, medyo buo-buo pa. No? Nag-blend pa. So, habang minamasa mo yan, no? your hands medyo warm lahat ng ingredients mo ay malulusaw magbleblend together o yan nakikita mo di ba nung una parang hirap na hirap ako pero ngayon o nakikita mo di ba madali lang po ang bread making kailangan lang po talaga with proper practice at meron kang pasensya no minsan sa simula medyo papalpak ka medyo hindi aalsa yung tinapay mo normal po yun that's very normal okay ayan o ba? 
Real time po yan, hindi ko po pina-edit yan. Eh kung mas matagal ka po maghahalo, normal lang po yun. Huwag ka po masyadong malungkot. O ngayon, mag-sumba na tayo. Pwede ka mag-play ng Zumba music. O ba diba? Para mas inspired ka. Ano ba yung one? Two, ah, diba? Yung mga ganon. So, body pressure. Ibig sabihin po ng body pressure, hindi lang po yung braso mo yung papagurin mo, yung buong katawan mo po yung itutulak mo papunta sa dough. No? Ibigay mo ang lahat sa kanya. Pero mag-iwan ka para sa sarili mo. O, diba? Sasabihin, ako na naman sinasabi niya. O, ganun talaga. Para ma-relax ka habang nagmamasa ka ng tinapay. So, when you are needing... Again, the main purpose of kneading the dough, kung bakit natin siya minamasa, is you want to develop the gluten. The gluten will give your bread the structure. Patitibayin niya para hindi basta-basta bumabagsak and para maganda yung pag-alsa ng tinapay mo. Kaya natin siya minamasang ganyan. Okay? You see? If you're kneading it manually, katulad ng ginagawa ko, this would take approximately 15 minutes. Mas matagal. But if you're using a mixer with a dough hook attachment, that would take you around 10 minutes. Kasi syempre, mas uh, consistent yung lakas ng speed ng mixer. Hindi katulad natin, pag medyo napagod tayo, hindi natin napapansin yon. medyo humihina yung pagmasa natin sa tinapay. So you will see how nice the consistency of the dough is. Hindi mo kailangan maglagay ng flour dyan sa iyong uh, table. Kung sakali lang po na talagang naninikit siya sa kamay nyo, makikita mo, I have here some vegetable oil or pwedeng margarine or shortening. Maglagay ka lang ng konti sa kamay. No? Huwag kang maglagay ng maglagay ng flour. Because remember, katulad ng tinuro ko sa inyo in our past bread recipes, if you keep on putting flour, ang mangyayari dyan is titigas naman yung iyong dough. Remember, kapag matigas ang dough, matigas din ang magiging finished product. At syempre, para fresh ako hanggang sa dulo ng video, ipapakita ko din sa inyo how to use the mixer. So, lagay mo lang dyan, and then... Okay. You lock the mixer. Kapag mixer po ang ginagamit nyo, dough hook attachment, and then you start at low speed. Okay? Like that. And then you set the timer. When using a mixer, 10 minutes, and then iiwan ko yan dyan. After 10 minutes, I'll show you kung anong gagawin natin next. Alright, so it's been around 10 minutes of mixing this. Makikita mo. So, papatayin na natin yung mixer. Turn it off. And then, tatanggalin mo na yung dough. So, ito yung tinatawag nating bulk fermentation. Dahil ang tinapay or ang dough, every time na gagalawin mo siya, mamasahin mo, titimbangin mo, ikokorte mo, pagkatapos nun, kailangan mo siyang ipapahinga. Parang tao lang yan. Pagka napapagod, you need to rest para maganda yung pag-alsa niyang susunod, no? So, this one, tatanggalin ko siya dito, makikita mo, simutin mo lang, and then I'm going to transfer it in a clean bowl na lalagyan ko ng konting oil. Pwede ding margarine, pwede ding butter. So, you just put some oil, and then, bago mo ilagay ito dyan, bilugin mo muna siya. Form it into a smooth bowl, like this. Okay? Into a smooth ball. Bakit mo siya binibilog? Para pag umalsa siya, pantay na pantay. Even. No? And then, this is the technique that we do. Yung smooth side, i-roll mo muna ng konti sa mantika para well coated with fat. Because the fat, tumutulong yan to prevent the dough from becoming dry. Pero kahit na may fat yan, you need to cover it with cling wrap. Or kung ayaw mo gumamit ng plastic, 
you can use a towel, a kitchen towel na medyo basain mo ng konti. And you're going to leave this at room temperature, wag sa aircon ha, room temperature lang hanggang makapahinga siya for approximately 30 minutes up to an hour. Kung nagmamadali ka, 30 minutes is fine. Basta very important, uulitin ko. Sa bread dough, every time nagagalawin mo siya, magmamasa ka, magshishape ka, magtitimbang ka, bibilugin mo, pagkatapos nun, kailangan mo siyang ipahinga for at least 30 minutes. So just to give you an idea kung anong itsura niya after the bulk fermentation, or yung pagkamasa mo, ipapahinga mo siya in a grease bowl. Ito yung ginawa natin, kagagawa lang natin yan ngayon. And then this one, I made one earlier. This has been resting uh, sa labas, siguro mga 30 to 40 minutes, no? Because before I started the video, ginawa ko to. So mga 40 minutes siyang nasa labas. In, in a warm place, covered with uh, cling wrap. So, make sure na magdodobli talaga yung laki niya or at least, uulitin ko, 30 minutes bago mo siya galawin or bago mo i-form into your desired shapes. So, another indication para masabi mo na ready na siya is kapag pinoke mo, tingnan mo, lalagay ko yung dalawang finger ko, lumabog yung dalawang finger mo and the indentation or yung butas is hindi na sumara. That only means na well rested na yung iyong tinapay or yung iyong dough. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to punch it down or tatanggalin ko yung unang yung hangin galing sa unang alsa kasi normally maasim yun. So take it out. You punch it down. The process is called punching down. And then, you're going to scale it, titimbangin mo. For the monai that I'm preparing today, I'm doing 70 grams. 7-0. Masyadong malaki, chef. Parang busog na busog na ako, hindi na ako makapaghapunan after eating the monai or the Korean cheese bread. Eh di gawin mo lang 50. Di ba nasa sayo naman yan? But me, I like it 70. And then, ipila mo dyan. Look what I'm going to do. I have here a plastic and make sure na hindi nahahanginan yung iyong dough while you are doing this step. No? Dahil remember, kapag na-dry or natuyot ang labas ng dough mo, titigas yung tinapay mo and mapapansin mo, hindi siya masyadong aalsa. Okay? So, 70 gram pieces, o katulad nung isa, 69 grams lang yon. Okay na yon. Hindi naman kailangang eksaktong eksakto because 1 gram or 2 grams difference is fine. So, you divide it. Kung ayaw mong gumamit ng plastic, because although this one, we're going to recycle it, makikita mo, yan po yung garbage bag. So, pagkagamit namin yan dito, i-recycle din po namin yan. Pero kung ayaw mo talaga gumamit ng plastic, you can use katya, cheesecloth, or yung uh, sako ng harina. So, you divide it 70 gram pieces. So, now that I'm finished dividing the dough, Uulitin ko, kapag ginalaw mo yung tinapay, ginupit mo, kinorte mo, you need to rest it. So, after mo siyang timbangin, ipahinga mo muna ng mga 10 minutes. Bakit ba natin pinapahinga yan? Because you want the dough or the gluten to relax. Pagka-relax siya, mas mabilis siyang makukorte. Hindi siya lumalaban. Yung minsan napapansin mo, ay, bakit umuurong yung tinapay ko? Bakit kinukorte ko siya pero hindi siya sumusunod? Baka kasi pagod, o oh, ba? Just give it some time to relax. Pagkatapos nun, makikita mo, susunod yan sa'yo and makukorte mo yan according to the shape na type mong gawin. So after resting it for 10 minutes, pagkatapos mong timbangin, we have here 70 gram pieces of dough. Ang nagawa natin, uh, ilang ba nagawa? Eh, 
15, 15 pieces. So now, I'm ready to shape it. So, ikokorte mo na yan as monai. And then, I've prepared the pans. I have here sheet pans or cookie pans na nilagyan ko ng silicone mat. I always use this para hindi ko na kailangan mag-grease ng pan. Pero kung wala kayo nito, you can use parchment paper, the non-stick parchment paper, or pwede mong pahiram to ng shortening or margarine or butter. Nasa sayo yun. Kung saan ka masaya, basta hindi didikit yung tinapay mo sa iyong pan. Now, next, you're going to round it. I'm sure if, you, if you've watched, if you've seen the pandesal video, the cheesy donut video, ma-perfect mo na to. So, you round it, you just form it into smooth balls like this. Okay? Ibibilog mo lang. So, ito na yung pinakamonay mo. And then, you just arrange it like that sa iyong pan. Aalsa po yan, ha? Magdodoble yung kanyang laki. So, make sure na bigyan mo ng space. Ito ay talagang practice po. You, you really need to practice hindi mo po yan ma-achieve na baka sabihin nyo, bakit po ganon sa iyo sa video, isang bilugan mo lang is na-perfect mo na yung round, pero kami ang tagal, talaga magpra-practice ka po, kasi ayan, katulad nito, oh, nakita mo, so pwede mong stretch ng konti yan okay ang challenge ko po ngayon is because naka-aircon po kami, mapapansin mo mabilis po na da-dry yung tinapay. Kaya as mentioned, at the beginning of the video, mas maganda po talagang mag masa, mag mix ng dough, at room temperature, yung walang aircon. Kahit electric fan, wala po dapat because the air, pagka may hangin, natutuyot po yung surface ng iyong dough. But still, this is manageable. So now, I'm finished here. Na-round ko na yan. Pag nakita mo lang na, ay, ito medyo hindi smooth, eh di pa kinisin mo. Madali lang yan. O, diba? Tatakpan ko ulit siya ng plastic. Just like this. Tatakpan mo yung ganyan. Huwag mong, ay, nako, baka mahanginan. Huwag po ganon. Because remember, you just put the plastic like this, yung medyo loose, Kasi pagka sinikip mo masyado yan, mahihirapan naman umalsa yung tinapay mo. So, ipatong mo lang na ganyan para hindi nahanginan, hindi natutuyot. This is the final proofing, which means, hihintayin mo na na magdoble yung laki nito and ready mo na yan i-bake sa oven. No? It takes around 1 to 3 hours. Pag gabi ka nagbe-bake or kung malamig sa lugar mo, taga-bagyo ka, Tagatagaytay ka, winter sa inyo, medyo mas matagal. Ang importante, bantayan mo and you wait for the size of the dough to double. Sa gantong panahon na medyo summer na mga one hour, alsado na po yan. So, para makita nyo ang difference, ito yung bagong bilog ko lang. And then ito, ginawa ko to before the video. Makikita mo, nag-double yung kanyang size. No, nag-double. So, this one, itutuloy ko yung pag-alsa nito, covered. And then, itong dalawang pans na to, isasalang ko na sila sa oven. No? So, now, itong eight pieces, gawin natin Korean garlic cheese buns. And then, this one, traditional monai. So, both, you need to brush with milk. Brush mo lang siya with milk. On top. Fresh milk lang to. You can also use evaporated milk if you want. Ito ay magbibigay ng nice brownish color. Yung parang traditional monai feel talaga na nabibili mo sa, sa kanto. And of course, this recipe, this monai recipe, pwedeng-pwede mo siyang gawing ham, uh, hamburger buns. Lagyan mo lang ng sesame seeds sa ibabaw instead of putting sugar or instead na plain lang siya, you put sesame seeds. And then, for the traditional monai, pwede mong lagyan ng konting sugar. 
optional to. If you don't want sugar on your monai, pwede namang wala. And then you're going to bake it in a preheated 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven for approximately 15 to 18 minutes or until golden brown. So while waiting for the breads, gawin na muna natin yung Korean cream cheese, uh, garlic cream cheese filling. So I have here one cup of cream cheese in my mixing bowl. And then I'm going to put half a cup of good mayonnaise. And yung garlic is nasa sa inyo yan. If you want it super garlicky, didagdagan mo yung bawang, di ba? I'm putting one fourth cup. Actually, this is already super garlicky. Pero kung ayaw mo naman ng masyadong matapang yung pagiging garlic, pwedeng kalahati lang ang ilagay mo. Or two tablespoons. And then, I'm not putting sugar because I don't like it sweet. Because this is a savory bread. And the monai is already a bit sweet. And then I'm putting one tablespoon of all-purpose flour just to serve as a binder. You just mix it like that. Ay, hilaw po yung bawang, chef. Hindi pa ako kumakain ng hilaw na bawang kasi baka mga sim yung sikmura ko. Teka muna, lulutuin pa natin yan ulit. So, ipapakita ko sa inyo yan. Don't worry. So, you just mix it and then you transfer it in a piping bag. So, eto, nakaluto na ako. O, ba? So, pwede mo pang lutuin ng konti yan if you want it uh, more golden. This one is medyo Kung tatawagin natin sa Filipino panaderia terminologies, mistisa. O mistisa pa yung ating monay. O ba Nagluta ang monay natin. Pero kung gusto mo namang summer color na medyo golden uh, brownish, pwede mo pang i-bake for two more minutes. But just a tip, if you're making the Korean cheese, uh, garlic cheese bread, wag mong tustahin because you're going to bake it again for five more minutes pagkalagay mo nitong filling. But right now, what I'm going to do, susubukan ko ng hiwaan ito. Yung Korean cheese bread mo, there are uh, the different ways of doing it. But first, pwedeng apat na slice lang. Ayan, apat lang. Pwede yan. Eh, parang gusto ko po is more effort because more effort means mas pinapakita mo yung pagmamahal mo. Eh, sige, gawin na add 8 medyo mainit o talagang talagang effort ito ha kasi medyo napapaso-paso pa ako <laughs> habang hinihiwa ko to o ba? gawin natin 8 super effort na po ito o, 8 with matching paso ng konti okay o, 8 yan pwede mo din naman gawing 6 Kung halimbawa, ang anniversary ninyo or month sa rinyo is every 6th of the month. When you slice it, nagsislice ka lang, oh, look how nice the bread. Oh, tignan mo, yan yung sinasabi ko sa inyo with the baking powder. Talagang smooth na smooth ang loob ng iyong tinapay. No? You're just slicing it but not through. And you, you will not cut through the entire bread. No? Nag-aano ka lang para lalagyan mo ng ng feeling. ba? Also, you choose if you want four, if you want eight, if you want six. Me, I like four because ayaw ko naman ng buong araw na lang ako nagsislice. So, let's do four. Okay. And then, eto yung ating feeling. So, papakita ko sa inyo. Nilagay ko siya sa piping bag and i-inject mo lang siya sa loob nung iyong, pakita ko ha, lalagyan mo lang yung loob hanggang dito sa may labas. See? O, oh, ganun lang. Oop! Mainit kasi. Pasensya na po. Okay? And then, here also as well. Huwag naman masyadong ah, uh, puno. Maganda yung ang feelings, fi feeling mo. Ito na naman tayo sa feeling. Ang feelings mo is pure, natural, and punong-puno. Pero hindi dapat nakakaumay. Okay? So, maglagay ka ng tamang-tama lang. Kaya mo nilalagyan ng konti dyan sa labas, pinapakita mo talaga 
para makita yung shape, yung pagiging artisan nung iyong tinapay. Hindi naman kailangan perfect. Ang feelings, hindi kailangan perfect. Mas importante yung basta totoo siya. No? At hindi nakakasawa. Okay na yun. O, ito ang medyo challenging. The more slices ang ginawa mo, mas nagiging challenging ang paglalagay ng feeling. Pwede ko po bang lagyan ng ham yan, chef? Kasi yung kapitbahay ko po, sano, sabay po kami nanonood ng video mo and sabay din po kami gumawa niyan. Sabay din po kami nagtitinda. So gusto ko pong gawin unique yung sa akin. O, di lagyan mo ng ham yung sayo. Diba? Or pwede mo din gawin is lagyan mo ng pork floss. Diba? Remember? Uso yung pork floss. Actually, matagal ng uso yun. And masarap naman talaga. So, lagyan mo ng konting pork floss. Lagyan mo ng tuna. Diba? Depende yan sa'yo. Kung you are very creative, lagyan mo ng mga herbs itong cheese filling mo. Diba? O yan. Very simple. Chef, may natira pong feeling. Ang feelings talaga, kailangan magtitira ka para sa sarili mo. Okay? <laughs> may bigay lahat. May natira po. Ilagay mo sa ref. Kasi remember, kalahati lang yung ginawa natin. Hindi natin nilagyan lahat. So now, this goes back into the oven no, for around 5 more minutes or until mag-set yung iyong Korean garlic cream cheese feeling. Isasalang ko lang ulit to for 5 more minutes. Pwede mong lakasan ng konti yung oven mo from 350, gawin mong 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so after 5 minutes, oh, tingnan mo naman yan. Diba? Oh, hindi pa po tapos yan. Baka sabihin nyo ay very bare ang color. Oh, lalagyan pa ng parsley. Yan. Tinikmang ko na yung mona yun. Oh, para alam ko na isasabihin ko sa inyo. Look at the inside. Tignan nyo yung inside. Ang ganda, di ba? Mm. So, very important that when you sell it, ilalagay mo yan in an airtight container. For example, the Korean uh, garlic cheese buns, ilagay mo in a sealed container like this because I've been getting a lot of messages na Chef, bakit po ang tinapay ganun? ba? Diba? Pag po dating ng hapon or kinabukasan, matigas na. Basta po nahahanginan yan. Uulitin ko na naman to ha. Basta po nahahanginan from the dough up to the finished product, mabilis po yan matutuyot at magiging dry at titigas yung tinapay nyo. So, make sure to put it in an airtight container like this. Tatagal po yan up to 3 days. You don't have to worry with this recipe if properly stored since may itlog po yan and we are using all natural ingredients from the milk, no? We use powdered milk, itlog, butter, even if you're using margarine, hindi po yan basta-basta titigas at hindi po yan basta-basta aamagin. No? So, look how nice is that. And of course, Let's try. O, tingnan mo. Ang tamang pagkain daw po niyan is, ay, hihila ka ng, o, oh, ba? Paisa-isa. Mmm. Makikita mo yung feeling, o? Oh? Well-balanced. Hindi siya yung, hindi niya na-overpower yung bread. Nandun yung texture nung tinapay. Nalalasahan mo pa din yung yung monay or yung bun and of course, the feeling the creaminess of the feeling the garlic flavor mm. ano pa hinihintay mo? gumawa ka na dahil talagang masarap po talaga so ito Akin na po ito. Bye and I'll see you soon.